And now for the 2017 Stan James Champion Hurdle, it is now post time. The all clear is given by the assistant starter. A last check of the watch on the rostrum and the flags are raised. The new one and Pitti Mouchoir are the two who've led them round on the infield and they're leading them forward now towards the tapes themselves. Walking in. And they're off. The winners of 83 races between them and Wicklow Brave is very slow to begin. He already trails them by about five or six lengths as Pitti Mouchoir will lead them over the first of the eight flights of hurdles to the new one who is racing in second and then Brain Power just in third. On the inside is Janworth in a share of fourth with Moonracer who is keen towards the outside. Bouvedere is next followed by So Royal on the inside. A footpad in the same ownership then My Tent or Yours who is taken back. So too Cyrus Dan and having blown the start by five lengths, Wicklow Brave has a view of the field as they make the run now onto the main track proper and on towards flight number two of eight in the Stan James Champion Hurdle of 2017. And it is Petit Mouchoir who leads them on now towards flight number two and he has a lead of a couple of lengths. Petit Mouchoir comes towards the second, skips over that one to in second place was the new one, racing in third, Yanworth. Moonracer, as he did at the first, just drifted out a little wide out to the right but now he's making ground once again up the hill. So it is Petit Mouchoir out in front by an easy length and a half to the new one who's racing in second. Moonracer on the outside in third. Yanworth against the inside rail in fourth. Brain Power is racing in fifth. Bouva there is in sixth. Footpad is in seventh. Around the outside, Cyrus Darius is now in eighth, followed by My Tent or Yours in ninth. So Royal is tenth towards the inside, and Wicklow Brave is still last of the 11 champion hurdle candidates as they make the run now down the back straight and on towards flight number three. Petit Mouchoir unhassled in front here, leads by a length and a half. He was slick over that flight too. To in second place came the new one and then out very wide is Moonracer who's just tended to jump a little right-handed throughout so far. Brain power between horses and then Yanworth who's cutting every corner being followed by Bouvardaire. They're still very tightly bunched up as they go towards halfway in the champion hurdle and the flight in front of them now is flight number four. Petit Mouchoir once again, quick and accurate, better than the new one who surrendered second to brain power through on his inside. Yanworth and Boover there, Moonracer just slightly shuffled back, followed by My Tent or Yours, and then So Royal, who's just gone in front of Footpad, then Cyrus Darius and still Wicklow Brave is wagging the tail. They take the dog leg turn, they go towards the flight taken towards the top of the hill. Moonracer again was not fluent, and neither too was the new one who made a mistake right in front of him, and it is still Petit Mouchoir who takes them to the top of the hill in the champion and he's got a lead of two lengths over brain power and then now being hustled up is the new one on his outside. Bouvardaire travels well into the race now for Noel Feely. He's taken fourth. Yanworth to the inside is racing in fifth. My tent or yours is in sixth trying to get closer followed by So Royal, Footpad, Wicklow Brave. Moonracer is going to be pulled up before the third from home. They're at three out now. Petit Mouchoir, push comes to shove. About to be joined now by brain power towards his outside. Bouvardaire is cruising just in behind them. The new one is now being driven. Out very wide, Wicklow Brave tries to make ground. So too So Royal on the inside as they're about to cross over the second from home. A slight mistake by Pitti Mouchoir, but he still has the lead. Bouvardaire is poised to pounce for Noel Feely around the outside. Next is My Tent or Yours. Around the outside is Wicklow Brave. They make the turn in. One flight to go. Noel Feely can wait no more and now he urges Bouvardaire to go and try and seal the deal in the champion hurdle it is Bouvardaire who comes the last he's clear by three in second is my tent or yours in third is Petit Mouchoir they've got 150 yards to go it will be a 50th win at the Cheltenham Festival for owner JP McManus as Bouvardaire is the champion hurdler my tent or yours in second and in third was Petit Mouchoir Nicky Henderson becomes the most successful champion hurdle winning trainer of all time outright. Six champion hurdles for the master of seven barrows.
an inspired switch back to the smaller obstacles has seen Bouverdere become the champion of 2017. A second victory in this race for Noel Feely following that of Rock on Ruby some years ago. It's a 1-2 for Henderson as my 10 Tour Yours has finished second for the third time in this race. And what a race he has run under Aidan Coleman who rode him for the first time today. The pace was put in the race by Petit Mouchoir, who's jumping rather fell apart late on. Not so Bouverdere, who is Henderson's sixth champion hurdle hero. And a 1-2 for JP McManus, 50 Cheltenham winners for him. 5-1 to one Bouverdere wins the champion hurdle, Steve. Yeah, and for all that people are going to say, we're, we're missing out on uh, um, you know, the, the past, past winners in... Um, for Heen and Annie Power. We've seen a blimmin' good winner of the champion hurdle today, Nick. He's travelled through the race like a real good horse. He hit one hurdle that I saw. You see there, just making sure he got room. He pings two out. He joined Petit Mouchoir. Remember, who he only just beat at Aintree last year with the novice hurdle. And I know this horse was third in the Supreme last year. We've seen him in his full glory today. Ridden closer to the pace, travelling like a dream. He absolutely gets the lights perfect and storms up the hill. We were hoping to see an emphatic winner. We have. You know, whether he, where he fits, who knows. But he's a cut above who he met today and he's still a young horse. Again, what an amazing season, Nicky Henson. He decided to go the novice hurdle, the novice chase route with Altior, who won the Supreme last year. He went novice chasing with this, switched back to hurdle, and he won the champion hurdle anyway. Fantastic. And full marks to my tent or yours. Nicky Henderson told everyone who cared to listen that this horse could run another big race. He's run a huge race, Chris. He's run a massive race, and he also travelled well into the race, but not in the manner that Bouverdere did. I mean, he has powered through this field, and he was just doing it all so easily from a long, long way out. And it was just a case, really, of when Noel Feely let him go and, and that he got over the obstacles that were in front of him. There was absolutely no chance from some way out that, that he was getting beaten, really. And my tent or yours, he's got a fantastic record of running well without winning in this race, but he's some horse himself. And Bouverdere, let's not forget his chasing exploits earlier in the season. He won two from two. He beat the Arkel runner-up, Cloudy Dream, in one of those at Haydock. So maybe that'll be an option for him further down the line, but you fancy now he's won a champion early, he'll just stick to this game. I'd like to see him come back and have another go because he was pretty, pretty impressive here. Some real, it wasn't just, I mean, Mike you was running a great race in the race again. The new one might be fourth, he's fourth or fifth, he's in the photo for fourth. He's run another good race in the race. But it's nice in some ways that youngsters or younger horses, ex-novices come through and show the full range of their ability. And that's what we saw today. I mean, the, the way he travelled and the way he jumped, he looked a proper champion hurdler. This horse simply, Chris, has just done a lot of winning. His only defeat in recent memory, in recent memory, was behind Altior and Min. And all that form just keeps coming back and, and shining. Yeah, what a supreme it was last year. And and he ran very, very well in it. And as Steve said, they, they rode him differently this afternoon to how he'd been ridden in the Supreme last year when he was probably had one behind him yeah. for a fair chunk of the way. He was much closer up today and, and he settled really well. And I think it suited him. It, no feeling, as he often does, just had the horse in the right spot in the race. Yeah. 57th Cheltenham Festival winner now for Nicky Henderson following hot on the heels of 56. And Boomer Dare's price of, of five to one will confound many. Yeah, absolutely. His biggest price he's been for a while. He was my favourite after he won at Sandown on his uh, uh, comeback to hurdling. And yeah, they're, they're, he's, he's, he, he, he wasn't popular. The time was a good time, uh, more than two seconds quicker than the, the novices to start the day, um, as befits a truly run race, which is what I think we saw there. Barry Garrity definitely would have ridden Boomer there. Well, that's the point. <laughs> I'll bet he says that now, anyway. <laughs> Yanworth was the notable disappointment. Yes, and, and the worries about him, the jumping was average compared to one or two and he really needs a little bit good because he's not got the pace of a basic two miler and if he's not really jumping well and keeping in it he's on the back foot and he was there was a moment where Bouvet Bear who was upside him went by him about three out and it was obvious he was going the better there were reports that when this horse schooled at seven barrows he was fast over his fences but so fast that he frightened Nicky Henderson he scared everyone who watched him and when he made his, his chasing debut at, at Haydock. Nicky Henderson was watching on from Ascot and could barely look at the screen. He daren't look at the screen. I, I think he was in a, a fair hurry to get this horse back over hurdles. Well, he's just, I think he's quite a brave horse, isn't he? And he, he's always been like that over hurdles. Yeah. Last year as a novice, the thing that really stood out about him was how slick he was over hurdles. He, 
didn't really take long getting over them. It was very fast from one side to the other. But this was a silky smooth performance, wasn't it? Slick over his hurdles, quickly away from them. This is Noel Feely's view from Bouverdere as he claims Petit Mouchoir and up the running. And it was a, a performance of, of real emphasis. Definitely. I mean, this is what you want to see. Yeah, the, the, the normal qualities of a champion hurdler are the ability to travel and the ability to jump. And he's got both of those. He travelled noticeably well throughout the race. I say, barring clipping the top bar once, I didn't see him make a mistake. That's a great picture. Uh, delighted, Nicky Henderson. And congratulations from Michael Buck. Luckily, they're the owner of Brain Power. He'll be disappointed. Brain Power didn't look as if he handled the track all that well, I didn't think. I think he was just a little bit too keen. It's a, a different type of race to what he's been in. It he, he was close up, really, from an early stage and just didn't settle for me, Steve. No, I agree. I agree with that. And uh, it, well, it, Yes, he was definitely too keen, doing too much. I agree. You just saw that lovely high-motion shot at the last hurdle. Bouvard just flicks the very top of the hurdle. Yeah. Like a really fast, good two-mile hurdler should. That's what the two-milers do. That's why it's slightly frightening over fence. If you're flicking the top of a fair fence, obviously the margin for error is less. Uh, you know, it's safe. Time will show how he's rated and how he compares. But he was really good today. Um, it, 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 we didn't see a muddling race. We saw a really emphatic winner. And he immediately is installed as 3-1 to favourite for next year's champion hurdle. And let's just hope. We get all these horses back in one piece so we can have these glorious champion hurdle winners of the last two or three years come back and beat one another. But this is the horse on the up, and he's a straightforward horse too. He's absolutely straightforward. You've no problem if it rains a bit, a bit softer ground is fine with him. And he's still on the up on this evidence. You know, he today got a truly run race to run that. I think that suited him. He's, you know, he gets the trip very strongly. See you then three times. The unconsidered Punjabi, the back off the ropes binocular, and now the dead straightforward Bouver Dare back from fences to hurdles. Henderson does it again in the race he loves best. He knows how to train the winner, and Noel Feely's given him a beautiful ride. The winner of the Stan James Champion hurdle is Bouver Dare.